another one. People being rude and condescending on LinkedIn. So about a week ago, I started using LinkedIn. I'm what most people call a loser. I'm 24, broke, I don't have a career, and zero, I repeat, zero job experience. My profile is pathetic and makes me look terrible. I only have 11 followers. One day, while trying to make connections, this guy messaged me and, said, and asked me a bunch of questions. He looks at my profile, my amount of followers, and basically becomes rude and condescending, as well as questioning how a loser like myself was able to connect with a high profile individual. This guy didn't hold back at all. I know I'm pathetic, I'm a pathetic mess, but having somebody rub it in how pathetic I am really hurts. So, goodness gracious, a couple of thoughts on this, right? Number one thought, right? If you believe that you are a loser, right, and that you're a pathetic mess, you might very well be. However, right, however, you do not have to be that way forever, right? You can make, you can change today, right? Like, you just have to um, do something about it. You know, you said that you have zero job experience. You don't have a career. You're broke. Well, let's make a plan. 24 is still fairly young, right? So you can make a plan. Okay, how do we get unbroke, right? Let's look into like what type of career can we go into? Like there's ten, tons of people transition every single day and zero job experience. Let's find a job, right? You. So... That's one aspect of it, right? That is totally, that's one aspect of it, right? So the other aspect is that, so somebody sent you a message and they were rude and stuff like that. Well, that's what happens when you put yourself on the internet, right? People, there's people who are bullies and you just got to deal with them accordingly. You can, there's like, you can report them on LinkedIn, you can block them, you can, you can ignore them, Right? If you know, if you have a goal, right? And this, this, this goes back to the, to the, what I was talking to um, Drew about earlier, right? About focus. You see how easily you, you allow some random person who's being an a-hole to, to distract you from doing what you have to do, right? You should be on LinkedIn looking to make connections, looking to network, looking to see, looking for jobs, right? To see, okay, what are my skills? What can I do so that um, I can gain more skills? Looking at job descriptions to see what positions that I would be qualified for and what skills do I need to, to, um, to put me in a better chance, right? Do I need any help? Do I need any coaching? What, like, what do I need? However, you stopped doing all of that Hopefully you were doing that, right? But you stopped doing that so that you could go and be hurt by somebody saying what you believe about yourself, right? Pointing out what you believe about yourself, you got distracted. So like, so what? Some, someone who has no idea who you are they have absolutely no idea who you are. They don't care about you. Nothing like that, right? And they're telling you that, oh, you're pathetic. You're a loser. You don't deserve this and that. Okay, so what? Okay. What if you just say, I agree. What if you agree with them? Now what? Now, not only that you take the power away from them, right? But you know what you have to do anyways. Like, okay, cool. I agree. And if anyone has ever seen the movie 8 Mile, right? With Eminem. I remember like he roasted himself so that the person he was battling against had nothing to say about him, right? Like, okay, cool. Like, I know, I know I suck, right? But I'm doing something about it. And you move on. Like, this random person, because you, you, like, 
you said that you said that like you signed up a week ago and I trust me, I've never gotten a message from anybody on LinkedIn who was rude or condescending or anything like that. Um, but you said like this one person, you let this one person throw you off whatever it is that you're working towards, right? And that's what I mean by the distractions and that's what I mean by focus, right? This person can't do anything for you, right? We cannot let people get have so much power over our lives where they can totally throw us off, distract us, The quote from this week's Canon Conversation. But I don't think of you. This person apparently had a lot of time on their hands to tell you what they thought about you based on a LinkedIn profile that probably doesn't have that much information on it, right? And now they have you thinking about them. No, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Good guys, it's everybody from 313. <laughs> oh, goodness. But yeah, so, so you, you, can, you, you just can't let, you can't let these little distractions like throw, like, because now you're probably feeling some type of way because some jerk on LinkedIn uh, said something to you. Get over it. Honestly, get over it and move forward. And you know what? It's you versus the world. It is you versus the world. And it's up to you to prove everyone wrong and say that I am so much better than you thought I was. And go out there and get it. That's my message. You have to just go out there and get it. You, you can't just, you can't just um, let people throw you off your game, distract you and stuff like that. All right? All right. So that is my message to you. Hopefully that is helpful. Hopefully that is what you need, right? All right. If you enjoyed the fascinating information shared in this video and you want more, be sure to hit the subscribe button to Tech Coach Ralph to be notified for new videos.